EDI 810 is the invoice document. This document is a request for payment once you have shipped the goods to your trading partner. Before sending the 810 there are two criteria you must complete. Invoice date and payment terms. These two criteria can be viewed on the EDI dashboard. First we'll start with the invoice date. Your sales order in Omni must have an invoice date. There are two ways you can do this. You can either go into the sales order itself and enter the invoice date here, or you can enter an invoice date directly from the EDI dashboard. And with the payment terms, it is the exact same thing. Your sales order will require payment terms, which you can either enter in the sales order, or you can enter the payment terms directly from the dashboard. Once you've filled these two criteria, go ahead and click on the Save button. As you can see, the next action has changed to Send Invoice. The next step is to check the Send Invoice checkbox then hit the save button to schedule the invoice to be exported. Next we'll head over to the integration dashboard. Once you have navigated to your integration dashboard, you'll see the 810 or invoice document in the export window. This can be exported to your trading partner by either clicking export here or by clicking on the export all button. Okay so we've now sent the invoice document to our trading partner. If we head back to the integration dashboard, we can see the export window is now empty and once your trading partner has received the invoice, they will send back an acknowledgement file, which will appear in your import window. Let's head over to the EDI dashboard again. As you can see the next action is awaiting acknowledgement. Once your trading partner has sent the invoice acknowledgement and this has been imported into Omni, this order will be complete and removed from the EDI dashboard requiring no further action. 